Okay, so I got tired of working on estimates. It was getting late, wanted to do something different. So what's a roofer doing in his free time? He works on a personal project that's being a pain in the butt. I've got this totally cobbled together Frankenstein mess of a machine, and what's it do? It's the Coin Pusher 2000. It's an addition to the other coin sorter we made. It's had many hiccups and glitches and kinks along the way. We finally got them figured out after a few hours. It's 1.38 a.m. in the morning. My little girl is going to be excited to see this thing function. So what's it do? What's it feed? Well, we put this little coin machine that sorts through pennies, and I'll explain that here in a little bit. But what's this do? This feeds that machine. I get tired of working with my hands and just constantly wearing them out doing it, but my little girl loves it, so, uh, you know my model, whatever the problem is, find a solution. So we came up with an answer to that problem. And yes, it took many different reiterations of trying it, but what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, like Edison. Uh, he didn't fail 10,000 times. He found 10,000 different ways something doesn't work, and we finally got it. All right, so here what we got. We got a little funnel here, and yes, this don't make fun. It's all made out of scrap stuff from the house in the garage. A funnel, you just throw your pennies into. It stacks about a dollar fifty worth of pennies um, in this copper tube here. There's a little brass plate here, and I would just go tink, 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 and run the pennies into the other part of the machine. I wanted to make it easier so I didn't have to do it and sit there and hold this. So now my little girl can just go... And just drop them in here and it can run so how do we control this well it's a good question we got a stepper motor here that just is connected with linkages and scrap frankenstein pieces that will just do that work for me make it simple what we got is a h bridge control module here it is being controlled by an arduino uno which was extremely old and dust you had to dust this thing off from the depths of the bin in the garage and I had to put together a quick little program here using, I believe, C. We're using this. I've got a, a library off another program. Um, and then I modified it. Basically, I can tell this thing which way to move. I have a serial port so I can monitor it. It's going to load the penny, push the penny, and repeat, load the penny, push the penny. So in software, I can control and upload the program to the Arduino Uno, which tells this uh, H-Bridge what to do, which controls the stepper motor. Basically, it will tell what direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, how fast and how far to move in steps. And, it's ch -ch 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 -ch, and I can control it and tweak it based on the linkages and control lengths and things, all in software. And how does it work? Well, good question. We got 20 pennies in here loaded up to do a quick test. And when it's done, it's gonna be mounted up to the other apparatus. So all I gotta do is feed this right here. By the way, this is probably a good time to point out to not do this at home, kids, because this is probably pretty damn dangerous. This is a full bridge rectifier homemade made, yes. Yeah, you touch it, it goes shocky, boom. It is a clipping the H, no, I'm sorry, not HD, what am I talking about? It's clipping the AC from the wall here, filtering it, making it DC power come out 12 volt. This is my homemade switch. I like to play with electronics late at night. Here's my switch until I make the rest of it. So all I gotta do is plug the power and it's gonna control the H bridge. It's missing its uh, ground right now and it shall function. So let's see here. Oh, I did. Yeah, I did mention that. Okay, here we go. Connector on good. Uh-oh, my switch is not functioning very well. Let's try this again. There we go. I gotta make a better switch in the morning. And she's just gonna filter out the pennies dropping in the next part of the machine. And you might be asking, why? Why? Why go through all this? Well, it's fun. My little girl loves it. Let me take a moment to explain. We like to go through pennies. It's pretty fun. She actually, it's a really good fun activity to get away from the iPad. So what do we do with the pennies? Well, it takes out all the crap zinc ones and it sorts out the few, goes through a bunch and pulls out the few copper. Copper's are good. Copper's worth more than their face value. We just hold on to them. The zinc ones we send back to the bank and we pay our bills with them. By the way, they're going to the bank that I don't care for. The one that doesn't like me, so I don't like you. Uh, anyway, so once you got the copper ones, then you reduce to like say 20,000 pennies down to well, 13 pounds or so, which is what I got out of copper. You spread those out over a yard sign. Yep, yard signs are abundant around here. Just dump them out of the yard sign flat, single file. You look at the ones that are tails up, then you pluck out the weedies that are easy to find. Take a second yard sign, set it on top, hold them tightly, flip the whole thing upside down so now the others are inversed. You take the top sign off and you look through the now inverse flipped over pennies their tails up and you pluck out the Wheaties. And then you can keep the Wheaties, you keep the coppers, and life is good. My little girl is gonna enjoy this thing.
by the way, good day trading stocks. And just the fact of uh, being a little computer nerd or a nerd, uh, am I a nerd? No, I think it's kind of cool. Technology is cool. Just being able to take some software like this and tell it what to do and out comes a product, a, a functioning machine. Boy, machines are going to replace people in the next five to ten years of it. They're already doing it. Hell, we got self-driving cars. Check this out. I'm already one step closer to it. Oh, boy. It's getting late. I need to go to bed. But I'm thrilled that I finally got this done. I had it in my head. I thought it up. I dreamt it. Here we go. We got the Coin Pusher 2000. All right. Stay tuned. See you in the next video.